I remember flying to Mexico with my mom and my sister, and you know, you have to fill out the customs form. Do I say I'm Mexican or American? My sister just kind of laughed at me like, duh, you're American. I didn't feel like I fit in to either culture fully. But I think as I got older, it got a lot easier. There's this new type of American that can embrace where they came from, building this new life, taking things from each culture that resonate with them. And I think a lot of things are born from that. For example, like my art. My name is Lillian Martinez and I'm a visual artist. I was born in Chicago. My parents immigrated to the U.S. from Mexico. All my siblings were born in Mexico. I was the first one to be born in the U.S. I didn't know how to paint or draw and I was never nurtured in that way growing up. When you come from a family that's immigrated to a new place, I think it's hard for them to sort of find those artistic outlets. It's not essential to living as food or water. I'm really inspired by Latino and urban culture as it exists in America. That's always gonna stay with me and be a part of who I am. But I have all these other interests, art, art history, architecture, sculpture, etc. Through my work, I take things from each world that really resonate with me. Things from my childhood that still feel relevant, like Bart, the Nike symbol, or basketball. And then I sort of pair that with classical elements. I like how they look together and how they interact. So I started painting about four years ago when I moved to Los Angeles. I was drawn to painting brown bodies. It's just what I was interested in. I think I was kind of bored of non-inclusive narratives. This is my way of rewriting small histories and making this world that's comfortable and beautiful for women of color. When I paint, I like to mix a lot of different types of greens. So I feel like it gives a really nice variation when you're mixing on the canvas. You see a lot of those variations in like grass. The green just changes all of a sudden. I started BFGF in 2012. It stands for boyfriend, girlfriend. Just something playful. I sell woven cotton blankets, pillows, towel, soft things that you can use every day to easily integrate art into your daily life. BFGF is a small business that I run. To me, it's a separate practice. I think it's a really good time to be an artist who is also a woman, who's also a woman of color. There's all these resources that exist now that didn't exist in the past. It's opened all these new doors. Whenever people talk about my work, oftentimes they compare it to Gauguin or Matisse. You know, it feels a little bit odd to always be compared to white male artists in art history, but I think that's because they occupied a majority of the space. If I do play a role in changing that narrative, that's a really positive thing. That's not necessarily why I make work. I just make work because I really enjoy it and it makes me happier. Whenever I show work, I have a lot of women come up to me and be like, I want to live in this world that you paint. And I feel like I do too. Maybe that's why I do it. I'm just making this world that I feel like seems perfect and beautiful to me.